flies when you're having fun. I know, I'm sure Wendy would agree, that being your parent has been a privilege and continues to be a pleasure. One day, I was setting up your nursery, painting it, assembling the cot. Next, I'm holding you in my arms for the first time. And then, you were taking your first steps. Before you knew it, we had all these memories of years and years, and I'm walking down the red carpet here with you today. Uh, to give you to Steph with everyone else celebrating. I'm so lucky to be able to share these memories and so many more with you, my darling daughter. I love you with all my heart and I will I wish you and Steph a lifetime of happiness filled with joy and fantastic memories of your own. And I'd like to raise a toast to my beautiful daughter and son-in-law, the new Mr. and Mrs. Archer. I wish I could say the first time I met Sophie, I, w I knew she was going to be my wife. I wish I could say that. Truthfully, I thought I was the orchestrator of the greatest con ever. That I was trying to convince Sophie that I was in some way in the same league as her. Honestly, I'm still waiting for my luck to run out. I'll never forget meeting Sophie. I had one of those amazing days where you wake up feeling more confident than I had any right to feel, and I tried my luck at speaking to the most gorgeous woman to ever walk into our student union bar. I opened with the best chat-up line I had. So, what course are you on? <laughs> Mechanical engineering. The masters. I'm sunk, I thought. That is the end of that very short conversation. I almost apologise for wasting this poor woman's time with my nonsense. But somehow I kept her talking to me. From there, I vowed to myself to keep this con, con going as long as I possibly could, until Sophie inevitably realised what a mistake she had made, and at this, that point, I would judge her for it taking her so long to realise. But hey-ho, here we are. <laughs> Funny how things turn out. <laughs> I'm under no illusion, in the future we will have rough patches, all of which will be entirely my fault. <laughs> so all I can say is please be patient with me and remember, I will never stop loving you. You will always be the brightest part of my day. You are my hero and my biggest inspiration. So I'd like you to raise your glasses. Here's to Sophie who will hopefully forgive me for my, for my endless attempts in making her the happiest person in the world. A task which I'm afraid I'm destined to fail, because try as I might, I will never be able to make you as happy as you have made me.
I will love you forever, whatever happens, till I die and after I die, and when I find my way out of the land of the dead, I'll drift about forever, all of my atoms till I find you again. I'll be looking for you every moment, every single moment, and when we do find each other again, we will cling on to each other so tight that nothing and no one will ever tear us apart. Every atom of me and every atom of you. We will live in birds and flowers and dragonflies and pine trees and in clouds and in those little specks of light you see floating in sunbeams. And when they use our atoms to make new lives, they won't be able to take just one. They'll have to take two, one for you and one for me. Thank you very much. Now once in a lifetime, you find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you discover someone who stands beside you and not over you. You find someone who loves you for who you are and not for who you could be. And once in a lifetime, you find someone as you two have clearly found each other. Now as the two of you come into this marriage, uniting you as husband and wife, always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals. Be happy and be content and live each day as if it were as special as this one is for you both. Now in the presence of family and friends, Steph and Sophie have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. You have declared your love by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. And it is my very great pleasure, therefore, to announce that you are now husband and wife and you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Please it up. Yeah. Yeah.